is rank and rent saturated? I get this question all the time and it was funny. I, I got into this space, uh, in 2016, it's been years and I got in the space and guess what the, one of the first questions I had, I asked the same question, is this, is this saturated? Like, is it saturated? Are we going to get to the point where, uh, there's too many people doing this, et cetera. Right. And I'm going to answer this, my honest thoughts. Okay. So, um, here's what I think. This is one, one person's humble opinion. Okay. And I'm sure people have other opinions. I think that if you believe that this is saturated or too saturated, uh, it's laughable. Okay. And I don't say that because I want you to do rank and rent. I don't care if you do rank and rent. And I assume that if you're, um, on this channel and you're watching this video, you're interested in rank and rent. But let me, let me help you think about this logically and, and stop being so emotional about this. Okay. So just from a logical standpoint, think about how many businesses are coming online every day. Okay. Think about how many businesses are coming online every day. Um, that's one thing. The other thing I think about is like, how many niches have been completely untapped? If you're, if you're a big niche person where you're, you want to go in these crazy niches that no one's been into, think about all the niches that like have never been tapped. For example, I've been doing this for years and years and years. I just barely within the last couple of months found out about a niche called, um, I think it's called pole barns where people build these barn dominiums, these pole barns. And I know a lot of people making a lot of money, great, cool niche. And I know it fits the model and the whole thing, a uh, huge, huge jobs. Okay. So there's tons of businesses coming online. There's niches that are untapped. Okay. There's niches that are yet to be created and then forget about all that. Okay. Let's just say that, that, that there's never going to be any more niches. Let's say that all the business owners that currently are in business are the only ones in business and there's never going to be anyone new, which is not realistic, but let's just say that was the case. And we just kept adding people that are doing this business model and, and keep adding, kept adding them, kept adding them. Okay. This is where everything shifted for me is a couple of years ago, I decided after doing some homework on a specific city in the concrete space or sorry, in the tree service space, I decided I, well, I found another lead generator, uh, that had built a website and actually ranked it. And my first initial impression, I, I was like, oh gosh, I missed my opportunity. I wish I would have done this a year ago. I should have done it, whatever. Right. And then I was like, you know what? There's gotta be, there's gotta be more business owners that will buy leads. Okay. And I had a, a, another video that I shared that talks about why I share my niches. This is kind of why, okay. Because I don't think it's saturated. I don't think we're ever going to get there. Not anytime soon. And so I went ahead and build a website anyway. This is before the days of I was pre-selling. This is right in the beginning stages of me just going all in on flat fee. And I built this site and lo and behold, following my same sales process, I landed a client. And to this day, at the time of recording this, I am still getting paid by that client. Okay. And there are, there is at least one other person doing lead generation in the same space, in the same city, that's in the same program that I started in. So like exactly the same, like the site looks the same, the whole thing, and I'm still making money. So what we have to think about is like, some of you guys, you see a lead generator and you throw your hands up and you're like, I'm done. I'm not going in and it's done. It's tapped out. It's not, there are still people that want to buy lead just because there's one lead generator in that space does not mean it's tapped out. And I believe there can be two, three, four, and it can still work. Now, obviously we'll want to be number one. And so, um, but when, as soon as that happened, I had this mindset shift. I'm like, okay, I'm thinking about this all wrong. As long as the homework looks good, as long as the due diligence looks good, I don't care if they're a lead generation site. I don't care if they're uh, uh, the local guy that that has one truck, whatever. I don't care because it doesn't matter. It's just another website. So that's the way that I personally think about it. Now, in the same breath, if you go and do research on a niche, um, like tree service, I know tree service with, as far as the lead generators go, it is, it has been hit pretty hard. That's really tough to go into any city and do homework and, and not find some lead generator that's ranking. Okay. So we've got some really talented people that are going in that space. And that's one of the reasons I, I, I don't focus on it as much. I still find opportunities here and there, but I don't focus on it as much. So if I go and do my homework and there's three lead generators that are already ranking on page one. Yeah, I'm not going to go into that. And and you could say that some niches are going to become a little bit saturated because they're the niches that everybody immediately went into. Maybe the tree service. I know towing's been hit pretty hard, um, those kind of things. But to say, that, is this too saturated or is this getting too saturated? We're not even close. Like we're not even close. And that's assuming that there's a finite amount of niches, which is not the case. And assuming there's a finite amount of business owners, and that's not the case. So. 
Do I think it's saturated? Absolutely not. Do I think that if we, if what I know now, if I would have joined six years ago, I would have had a freaking heyday? Absolutely. But you don't know what you don't know. And it is what it is. That's what I think.